puking a lot in my bed. <laughs> Wednesday. Is it a happy Wednesday? Not quite sure. Last night, Livy puked again. So we are eating some lunch right now and headed to the doctor. Stella has a little stomach bug she's had for about a week. I'm worried about her getting dehydrated. So we're gonna try to get through lunch and then we're gonna head to the doctor, okay? What's wrong? I don't know. She doesn't know. She's probably mad because she wants to eat some grapes and orange juice and I'm not letting her, obviously. So, here goes lunch. All right, here's your lunch, okay? I need some milk in my You can't have milk today, okay? Do you remember when you puked last night in your bed? Yeah. Yeah. Still, I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Do you want some water? Yeah, water can make me feel better. Okay. I'll get you some water, okay? So I did put just a tiny bit of jam on there. Not sure if she has a stomach bug still or she's been coughing a lot and last night she was coughing really, really hard and that might have been I why she puked. I was choking on my seat. You were choking? Yeah, I was choking on my seat. On your seat? Yeah. Are you okay? okay. I was puking a lot in my bed. You were puking a lot in your bed, huh? I'm puking a lot in my bed. So we gotta be careful what you eat today, okay? So that you don't puke again, okay? My stomach still hurts. One of the worst parts about being sick is my kids finally get their appetite back and then there's nothing they can really eat. She's had toast for the last three days, dry toast with a little bit of butter. So I literally put like an eighth of a teaspoon of the jelly on it just so she could see it's something different. And then apples, applesauce, saltine crackers. It's not very fun, but And then this little girl, our appointment is in one hour, which is right at nap time, huh? So it's gonna be kinda crazy. Hopefully she's good. So if you haven't checked out Monday's vlog that we posted a few days ago, check that out. It's how we deal the whole day with sick kids. We thought they were over it, but then last night, Libby had another episode and puked all over. So, we're going to the doctor today. Hopefully, we have good news. Are you gonna eat it? I promise you can have Cheetos tomorrow, okay? Okay, finish your toast. Okay. And then we'll go to the doctor. Cheetos tomorrow. You can't today or else you might puke. Do you want to puke again? You ready to go to the doctor? Yeah. Do you want to go get your shoes and socks on? Yeah. And my pink warm boots. Not off to a great start. Tried to get ready, but that's what I heard the whole time. Right at my feet. So, here we go. just got to the doctor's office. We're 10 minutes early, which is kind of a record for me. And I'm just hoping that the kids can keep it together. Alright guys, we've just got Stella weight. She's almost 20 pounds. Livy's got my phone. Survival. And we're just waiting for the doctor. Hoping to get some answers. Livy poured all of these in Stella's car seat while I was doing that. Fun times. Super fun times. All right, guys. Worst thing that I expected. We go in. I've got two screaming kids pretty much the whole time. Filling out 20 plus pages of unnecessary paperwork. Get in there. Wait for the doctor. He comes in. 
checks out Stella and basically blows me off and says, oh yeah, if it goes to 12 days of diarrhea, then you have a problem. So apparently six days of diarrhea for a baby and not wet diapers is not concerning. So, not really sure what to do. He told me to do the brat diet, which obviously we've already been doing, and told me not to feed her formula or milk for two to three days, which is absolutely impossible since that is exactly what she eats, like every day. Feeling super frustrated, super bugged right now. Our insurance does not cover sick visit or well visits, so I'm a cash pay patient, and I just spent $200 for nothing. And it's just super frustrating because I kept asking questions, and he kept blowing me off trying to walk out the door. The door was literally open, and he was trying to walk out the door. And this isn't my normal doctor that I see, but obviously it was the doctor on call in that office. So I'm feeling frustrated, hopeless, and just done with screaming kids. So I guess just hope that it gets better with time. So Stella finally stopped screaming. Sorry guys, just super frustrated. Comment below if you're ever frustrated with doctors that rush through your appointment when you pay good money. And basically you leave feeling more confused with no answers. And I basically got out of it that if she's dying, bring her back in in 12 days instead of six. And I know something's not right. She's not acting normal and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm feeling super frustrated. And one thing he told me is to not give her formula. Mm. We just pulled in, that's why Louie's out of her seat. Not give her formula for three to four feedings, which I'm like, what is she gonna have then? Like, that's like her main source of food. I mean, she eats every meal, but that was not fun, you guys. I'm gonna go put both girls down for a nap, hopefully take a nap myself. Mark was gonna pick up some meds on the way home, and then just hope and pray for the best, I guess. How are you feeling? My lips is red. I need to, yeah, so I need to get Vaseline. Vaseline? Mm-hmm. How's your throat feeling? They also told me that the flu is going around big time and strep throat. So hopefully we didn't have all those germs. The lobby was full of sick people. Hopefully my kids can just stay healthy, please. All right, so Stella's going down for a little nap. This is just the bottle I already made her in the doctor's office. So I'm gonna let her finish it. And then Marco's gonna grab some Pedialyte on the way home and hopefully that helps. Last night, Livy puked in her bed. Her sheets are in the wash right now. Well, they're actually probably done, but I'm gonna just have her sleep on the floor for a little nap for her as well. You got your blankets? You all comfy? Here's another one. Hi, I can wake up, I can have this popsicle. Yes, when you wake up, you can have a popsicle, okay? The doctor said you could have a popsicle. Sleep good, okay? It's 2.30 and it's dark in my house. <laughs> I gotta turn on the lights. Anyway, hopefully Ty and Hallie stay healthy and when they get home, I'm gonna tell them that sickness is going around at school and that they need to wash their hands extra good. I always have it be a rule when they come home to wash their hands and usually, believe it or not, we stay pretty healthy. It's pretty rare that my kids get sick. I wouldn't say it's a regular thing. Like I know some people's kids always get sick, mine don't. So the fact that they are, I know something's wrong. Hopefully Livy's cough can just subside so that she doesn't puke again and that everyone can just get healthy. Hopefully the Pedialyte will help and just regulate her a little bit. Okay, Stella just woke up from her nap with poo up to her shoulder blades. Mm. Just gave her a bath and she feels a little warm so we're just going to... Oh, okay, 99. So no fever, which is good. She's only had a fever once last Friday. It's a good sign, but... Dad just stopped at the store. I did. Pedia Light. So we're gonna give Stella this instead of a bottle for the next few feedings and see if that helps. And then we're having tacos for dinner. Yeah. That's a lot of tortillas. And we have the wheat. We'll, we'll go through them quick, I know this. Because okay. we make quesadillas during the week too. Some shredded lettuce. Quesadillas. Dime tap for Libby. She's coughing pretty bad, so we're gonna give her this, see if that helps, and then she won't puke again. Yeah, don't you sick of having sick kids? I'm pretty sick of it. I might yeah. go to Target tonight and just oh. walk around. I got a $50 <laughs> gift card for my birthday for my sister, and I'm like, maybe I'll just do that tonight. Oh, you should. I should. I'm serious. Okay. I'm gonna go break. We're out of bread because all the kids have just been eating toast the last three days because that's all they can have. And then I love strawberries with Nutella. Strawberries are great. It's always and a staple. good. How much were these? Uh, I don't know. 
Okay. <laughs> Last time Marcus bought a big case of strawberries for $11. I don't really look at the price on produce a lot of times. I don't. Yeah. I tell him, he doesn't look at the price on a lot of things. Like, oh, how much was that? How much was gas? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> you need to know, man. You're I mean, sticking to a budget. I always have a good range. I have a good idea of what it is. Yeah. Like gas is usually 30 to $40. I want to know how much those strawberries were. Do you I, ever I see? think they were like five. Anyway, so we got a few things. We're gonna cook some tacos for dinner and then get the kids down early for bed. And hopefully everyone wakes up feeling better tomorrow. See, bye. <laughs> yeah. And it's supposed to snow tomorrow in Las Vegas. We'll see if it really happens. It's, it's like a mixture of rain and snow. Yeah. It's gonna get cold. It's, it's a cold rain. week. It's also supposed to rain like close to 11. And right now it's actually raining. Yeah, it's sprinkling. I just pulled in. Oh, I'm just taking it. There you go. Good job. All right, she's trying out the new Pedialyte. Good job. She didn't know what to think the first time she put it in her mouth, but now she's taking it. I, I don't know if she's sucking, though. I know. She's like, what is this? Yeah. She's kind of chewing and gnawing on the nipple. I got the mixed fruit blend. Not sure if that was the best, but I did my best. She doesn't know what to think. How are you feeling? Good. Good? What did you have for dinner? Good dinner. Good dinner? Your what? belly's good. Your belly's good? What did I you eat? I have a little hole in my body. You have a hole in your body? Yes. Where is it? It's right here. <gasps> A hole in your body? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> the, the, the Grinch is scary. The Grinch is scary? Yes. Yeah. What'd you have for dinner? Good. No, what did you have? <laughs> I have pizza, drinks, drinks, and soup and napkins. Oh, and a napkin? You eat it. You eat Got napkins? some chicken noodle soup and just yes. tortilla. Huh, no cheese. And a fruit salad. Yep, and an applesauce. Are you all done? Well, yummy soup. What does it taste like? It tastes like lemonade. Like lemonade? Yeah. <laughs> this one tastes like a lemonade. Does it? Yes. Okay, it's me, so Right now, my dad's putting Stella to bed, and Ali and Livy are playing like some girl stuff, so dad and me might play a game, like a two-player game. Oh, Stella, are you ready for bed? Stella, are you ready for bed? As you guys know, Chelsea took Stella into the doctor today. She's been having diarrhea for the last week, so today we're gonna put some probiotic drops in her bottle today. So we have these Drop super expensive if you buy them at the store. Gerber Soothe Probiotic Colic Drops, or Colic Drops. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but uh, basically we just put a few drops in with her formula, and that should help with her gut, and hopefully she'll be feeling better and have more normal bowel movements in the future. So we're gonna try that. We did also get Pedialyte at the store too. Um, we just, we don't want her to be dehydrated. She's already tried the Pedialyte as you saw before, and she didn't really take Hopefully tomorrow she'll take some more. I just don't want her to be dehydrated. I don't think that's really an issue right now, but I mean, you never know. So we're taking these precautions. Hopefully she feels better in the next couple days. guys looks like I'm pulling out all the stops pulling out all the stops now all the medication because guess what we have an assembly line here of sick kids I've never seen so much sickness and illness and disease all in one time in one household 
Libby puked. Yes, we all know that. But she's feeling a little bit better. She did not puke today. We'll see how the night goes. But she has we, She is coughing a lot though. She hasn't complained about a sore throat, but she is coughing. So we're gonna give her some medication for the cough. Went to the store and got some Dimetap for her cold and cough. Hopefully that helps. Ty, for some reason, has gotten something on his leg. Look at that. Some type of infection right there. It looks like it started out as an ingrown, ingrown hair. It is slightly raised. We're gonna put some uh, steroid ointment on it and we're gonna give him some Benadryl so he can sleep with some medication in him, see if it feels better. Um, if it doesn't get better, we'll definitely have to give him some antibiotics. Hallie, we'll give her some vitamin C. How about that? Because you are getting a little bit better. You haven't puked, you haven't coughed, you haven't done anything like that recently, okay? We'll give you some vitamin C. Do you care about me cause you're lonely? Cause I'm the only one around You say you are better safe than sorry Cause you're too scared to hit the ground Might seem dark but you know that I'm honest Might look broke but you know I can solve it Do you care about me cause you're lonely Cause I'm the only one around I don't wanna be a blanket that you wrap up Everyone's dosed up. It's time for bed. Hopefully they get a good night's rest. I'm needing one. I took a vitamin C myself because I'm feeling a little run down. My joints are feeling a little achy. That's never a good sign. Hopefully I, I just need some rest and I wake up refreshed and uh, no one else is sick. Say good night everyone. Good night. Say good night Libby. So Libby is going to sleep on the floor like she did last night because remember she did puke in her bed. So we did wash all this stuff last night. It's clean. Um, I asked her if she had a preference to sleep on the floor or her bed. And this is what she said. She wants to sleep on the floor. Yeah. You love it? Okay. And then Hallie's just getting ready for bed, reading a book. What are you reading? Mary Miscary. All right. I keep giving her chances to get back on her bed. She says no. And here's Ty getting ready for bed as well. Reading that book of his. Say goodnight. I'm just closing up the vlog, but before I do that, I wanted to show you something. Something crazy is happening right now. My wife just texted me, which, by the way, Chelsea is shopping right now. She went to Target probably an hour and a half ago, <clears throat> two hours ago after we ate dinner. She was just super run down, tired, exhausted from taking care of sick kids all day, so. She told me she wanted to run to Target and just walk around. And I was like, go for it. Go for it, I'll take care of the kids. So she's there still and she just texted me and said, it's totally snowing. Las Vegas doesn't get snow. Here, I'll show you right now. Go outside. You see that white, that white powdery stuff on the ground? It's snowing. There's no way. You can see the snow on the on the slide right there. Man, the kids are gonna get a heyday out of this one when I tell them tomorrow. Now let's check out the front door. It's gonna snow. Maybe we'll wake up to an inch. Yeah, yeah, right. We'll have a snow day for sure if it happens. Um, the kids will love that. Anyway, just closing out the vlog. I wanted to show you that right before. Guys, I am I'm getting run down myself. I've got a, this pounding headache. Chelsea said she's got a headache. Parents don't have time to get sick because we gotta have energy to, to, to tend to the kids. We gotta take care of them. We can't be sick. So I'm gonna pump myself up with meds. <laughs> Just kidding. And then we'll see what the day brings tomorrow. But we appreciate you watching this vlog. I know you're probably getting sick of everyone being sick, but put yourselves in our shoes. We are much sicker 
than you guys. We're over it all. So hopefully in the next couple days, all of us are 100%. That's the dream, that's the hope. Anyway, I wanna say good night, peace out. Thanks for watching Life As We Gomez. Once again, we appreciate everyone who's been watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done that. You have a hole in your body? Yeah. Where is it? <gasps> a hole in your body?